we already have a caller. So yeah, let's, let's uh, get to, to it. Kateria from Tuscaloosa, I understand. Uh, Kateria, first of all, Happy New Year to you. Thank you so much for staying up late with us tonight. If you will, go right ahead with your question. I was involved in a car wreck uh, back in December, and um, I was taken by ambulance because my hair was busted open. Mm -hmm. And um, I was a passenger, and um, but the other person had insurance and everything, but I have not been compensated for it. Yeah. I'm assuming she's wondering kind of what she needs to What's do the next. Yes. Well, the process, Ethereum, is um, first you have to make a claim. Mm -hmm. So you have to figure out who the insurance company is on the other side. Uh, you're going to have to figure out who the adjuster is, what the claim number is, and then they're going to want information from you. The information they're going to want are what were your injuries, what were your medical expenses, did you have health care insurance, uh, they're going to want to know about lost wages. Uh, in your instance, uh, with a laceration like you've described, you may have some scarring, which you deserve compensation for. But remember, this is a process, and there are steps in this process that, if you don't get them just right, can cause you problems. Uh, if you are going to make a claim to an insurance company for personal injuries, I would strongly advise you to uh, get a lawyer to help you with that, because it's a complicated process. Well, and here's one thing that, that we're seeing. Um, you know, you can make a claim with an insurance company, and, and, but they have certain things that they have to do to protect their interest. One of the things that they do is they want to protect, they have to protect uh, the medical expenses first and medical subrogation. So if somebody uh, paid medical expenses on your behalf, like a health insurance company, you know, it, what, what we do, we negotiate with all these companies to get our clients the best deal, the best package deal, the net, best net result. But what they will do, they don't have any obligation to you. So unfortunately, they'll write that check, and if it's big enough, it may, it may do away with all the limits that are out there that are available. So that's how an attorney can really help um, get that net number up for you as high as possible. And uh, you know, if you don't have health insurance, uh, you can go to the hospital, and uh, that hospital bill can be just for just for showing up can be twenty or thirty or forty thousand dollars. Absolutely. And, and and they'll write that check directly to the hospital, and you won't end up getting anything. So you could find yourself in a pinch. You know, Ken, something that that you know because you deal with it every day. But when you're talking to an insurance company, like in her situation, that relationship doesn't always feel adversarial. But believe me, it is. Mm, that's yeah. good. They are, they are professionals. They are there to do their job, and that is to pay as little for your claim as they can. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's what their job is. Mm -hmm. But you are in an adversarial situation, and you need somebody speaking for you.